All right, guys, in today's video, we're going to talk about this device right here. This is my Samsung Galaxy S5, and this is on Verizon. Now, you guys may or may not know, but this device did just get an OTA update very recently. It hasn't been pushed out to all devices yet, but uh, I went ahead and updated mine. Um, and let me just go ahead and uh, show you what we're working with here. So the device has been updated to NE9. And uh, that's your uh, baseband version. You can see build version again, NE9. Um, right there's a build. So we're updated to that, but uh, if you had root access, you lost root access, uh, maybe you're on this and you want to root your device, whatever it may be, I'm going to show you guys how to get root access on NE9 uh, with a couple different steps we're going to do. So pretty excited about this. You are going to need a bunch of files. Um, you're going to go ahead and download everything. I'll give you guys links in the video description down below to all the files you're going to need. And then from there, once you got everything downloaded, you can go ahead and start this process. Also recommend uh, have good battery life up here. I've got 75%. That's plenty. This shouldn't take a lot of battery. You probably lose maybe 5%, 10% tops battery doing it. But it's also always good to have good battery life. All right, so we covered all our bases. Let's go ahead and do this. So to get root access on NE9, on the Verizon Galaxy S5, you're going to go ahead and power off your device. Power off and shut down. So we need to get into download mode to do this. Um, and you're going to flash a kernel or an old kernel from uh, the previous build or the original build, which is NCG. You're going to root on that kernel, then you're going to restore back to NE9. It's very simple, you don't lose any data, so it's not hard to do. So to get into download mode, uh, you're going to hold your home button, your volume down button, then your power button, and keep holding them. There you go, this is a little warning talking about flashing custom firmware, blah 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 blah. Press volume up to continue or volume down to cancel. So I'm going to go volume up, and this puts my device in download mode. All right, so from here, I'm not going to actually plug it in yet. First, let's go ahead and shoot over to my computer, and we'll just check things out from over there, and I'll go over these steps. Okay, guys, here we go. These, This is my Galaxy S5 folder, so I've got a lot in here not relating to this root process. But number one is you're going to download this. This is Samsung Drivers. I'll link you to it. Like I said, everything's in the video description below. And you're going to run it and you hit run blah 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 and it's going to install your drivers that's very important to do once you've done that you can actually um, go ahead and plug in your cable so i'm going to plug in my usb cable i recommend using a 2.0 cable it seems to work better with the next tool we're going to use than using the 3.0 that comes with it so i'm going to go ahead and plug this in there we go and it's also very important that you do not bump your cables or anything like that while you're doing this all right, so from here, we're going to go back to my file browser, and you're going to need these two files. I have them in kernels. So one is the NE9, the new kernel, and one is the NCG, the old original kernel. So you're going to need both those because you're going to flash them. And then from there, you're going to need these two files. This is Odin, and this is an Odin.ini file. So again, I'll give you these. Don't worry about it. This is Odin 3.09. There's a newer one, you can use whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and run Odin. Alright, so Odin is right here. And we've got... Okay, so let me just walk you through this. So basically we have a COM. So this is COM11. It does not matter what your COM is, but it needs to have a COM and a number. Uh, so it doesn't matter what number it is, but it needs to say that. And it also needs to say added. Uh, if it says added, that means your drivers are working correctly. Um, and COM also means that. So that just proves your device is communicating with your computer correctly, which is very good. So from here, we're just going to go to PA. And we're going to go search for the kernels. So mine are here in this folder. And we're going to flash the NCG kernel tar.md5 Verizon. So we're going to go ahead and flash that one. And what it does here is it just goes ahead and checks the file, makes sure it's as good as it is. And then you just go ahead and hit start. And very quick, you see a little progress right here. And it's writing down on the device. And the device should say removed and then reboot. So here you go, you're going to boot up. You're going to now have the NCG kernel on your device. It does boot with the NCG kernel. And what this does is this allows us to use an old exploit 
to get root access on an E9 once again, which is very, very nice. So we boot it up. What you're going to do is you're going to unlock your device. You're going to shoot into Chrome and you're going to go to this website. I can also give you the link to this also, it doesn't really matter. Um, and the website is, let's see here, it's called uh, towelroot.com, so T-O-L-E. This is the same way you rooted it the first time, um, .com, and hit go. If you did root your device previously, this is exactly how you do it. And then you go ahead and click on the little logo there. I download, don't download an ES file browser, it doesn't always work right. So go ahead and download here. Again, I'm going to say always, okay, and hit OK, and it should be downloaded. All right, so then we're going to go into the download file browser in here. Oh, now it started. It's being a little laggy. So it should come in here, and you, when you click on that download in the notification, um, it should boot up and it should say this. You should say you've been blocked to install this application. So you just go to settings. You scroll down here to unknown sources, okay, and then you install it, yes, accept, and yeah, again, yeah, it's a little warning, it's fine, install anyway, okay, done, alright, very, very good, so that should be all done, we're just going to scroll over and find it, there's towel root right there, go ahead and hit make it rain. Thank you, device should be, um, says shouldn't have root, no reboot required. So we should have root access. To prove we have root access, we're gonna go ahead and download SuperSue from the Google Play Store. So SuperSue, and we'll install SuperUser, or SuperSue actually. Install, accept, and there we go. Everything's looking pretty nice. We're gonna go ahead and open that up. Now, if you already have SuperSue installed, that's fine. Um, let me go back out of that. It looks like it kind of in the middle of me doing that. It's clicking back and forth. So let's try it again. So continue, hit normal, and this should update the SuperSue binaries, and you should have root access. If it fails, just do a reboot and try updating again. Let's give this thing a second. Alright, so it does say Nox has been detected. You want to try to disable it. We do want to do that, so go ahead and uh, OK. And it's going to disable Nox security, which gets in the way of some of the root access permission applications. So it is disabling Nox right now. Um, if you get to this step, obviously it means you're going to have root access. It's going to be functioning correctly because it wouldn't even get to this point in SuperSue uh, once you open it up without having proper root access. So again, let's just wait for disabling Nox. All right, so Nox has been disabled. Let's go ahead and I have root checker in here, I think, somewhere. Let's see if I do or not. Uh, root checker. We'll go ahead and check to make sure we have proper root access and verify root access. There we go. Grant it. And shabam, congratulations, your device has root access. So last step here, again, we're going to go ahead and turn off our device. Hang on a sec. Let's see what this little thing is here. Unauthorized actions has been detected. Restart your phone on authorized changes. Cancel. We'll cancel that out. If you get that, go ahead and cancel it. Um, we're going to go back into uh, download mode. So to do that, go ahead and unplug your cable really quick. You can see on the computer your your thing, your device has passed. So we're going to go ahead and power off. Again, we're going to get back into download mode here. Um, very simply by holding the home button, volume down, and power. Home, volume down, power. One, two, three, and there we go. Volume up to select download mode. We'll go ahead and plug in our cable. And we are back in download mode. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and actually, you can normally just, you could probably select this again. I'm just gonna close Odin and then open it again. So close, we'll open it back up. There we go. Again, it says added, com port, you're all good to go. We'll hit add. We're gonna select the original NE9 stock kernel tar. Again, it checks it, everything looks good, and start. 
So once this thing is done, you're going to see it's going to go right very smoothly, flashing the uh, original kernel back, and your device will reboot. And when it's done, you have root access. You're on NE9. Um, everything is hunky-dory. We're going to check it really quick after we have this new kernel installed just to make sure it's all functioning, and then we'll be a happy camper here. So let's go ahead and check this out. Here we go. We uh, booted back up. Again, we're looking okay. Let's go ahead and go back to root checker. We'll check it one more time just to verify everything is working. Um, very, very nice. You should be good to go. We'll go back into Super Sue also just to make sure that all looks pretty. Again, it's asking about the Nox. We'll just cancel for right now. You can try disabling again. It should, should be able to disable. There you go. You can see root checkers got root permission. You're done on your computer. Um, everything is good. Close out your stuff. Bam. We're all rocking and rolling. We are on NE9. We have root access. Um, I want to give a big shout out to the guys in XDA. They did a great job figuring this out for us. Um, especially Open One Eyes One something. I can't remember his last name. It's really hard to say. Anyway, he did a really good job pulling this stuff together again along with another guy on there. So big shout outs to those dudes. Um, I'll link you to their thread on this. So you can uh, give them a thumbs up, a thank you for getting this figured out so fast for us. There you go, guys. Sorry, long video here. Just wanted to be thorough. Um, stay tuned for more on this device here, the Samsung Galaxy S5. And we'll catch you guys next time. Root Junkie out. Yeah.